Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing a Laravel 9 e-commerce series. So guys, now in this video, we are going to learn how to send invoice via mail. Okay. So guys, we will be using a Gmail and sending this invoice. Okay. So guys, as we have seen that when you click on view invoice, you view all the invoices and then we are going to send this invoice in your Gmail account. So guys, I have just logged in one Gmail here and I will be sending a mail of this invoice okay so guys now let's get started so first let's create a button here guys send invoice via email okay so guys let's go to this path admin orders and its id so let's get back okay so let's move to this admin route and go to your order so let's move below here you see guys we are on the order controller and here is our order index and on the get method let's go to this show function let's move on this order controller let's control e and search for order controller inside admin let me close this everything so we are inside order controller at show function here is a show function and now you move to this view blade file and here is a download invoice and view invoice so see we are going to copy this and paste again and tell send invoice via mail okay and now guys you need to add a concatenation here and just type mail that's it so admin invoice you are going to send via mail that's it and now here info let's save and now let's see the output once cool so let's create the route and set up everything for the mail so let's get back let's copy this complete url and get back to your web.php so we are going inside the order controller itself here itself only let me paste it and let's copy this route guys Control cv and just get this invoice we already have the invoice and here order id so we are taking the order id and getting this mail and you are sending here that's it let's remove this admin is a prefix so we have already defined at top so here it's admin okay so you don't need to add that yep guys and now you can start moving to here mail invoice so let's copy this and create a function inside your order controller so let's move inside the order controller and let's move below so here you see we have this function right let me copy this complete function code and paste here and let's place this at this function name done guys so you are sending mail invoice integer order id and you are getting the order id searching for the order and now let me remove this as simple guys so now guys let's start with sending the mail here okay let me just zoom it guys all set now open your terminal and create the mail mailer php artisan make mail the mail name it's going to be invoice order mail level okay invoice order mailable okay hit enter so mail created successfully now let's move to our app folder let me align everything go to app mail and inside mail you'll find your invoice order mailable okay so now guys let's type here in your order controller at mail invoice function let's tell mail colon colon to function and then use a send function okay so here at two what you are going to tell so two is nothing but you are going to provide the email address so on this order variable okay you are getting the data and sending the email id okay so right now if you see here on this order id 4 here is the email so make sure you are adding the valid email address okay to receive a email okay so here i see 
So on this ID4, here is the valid email address I have pasted, which is logged in over here. All set guys, and now we can get back and you send this mail and then add the send function new and your mailable. So what is the mailable? Here you find that invoice order mailable. Let's copy this guys, control C and get back and paste here. So this is your invoice order mailable and then let's send this variable dollar order. You are sending inside this as simple guys, done. And now let's return redirect function with the message. So add the message comma invoice mail has been sent to the email ID. If you want, you can paste it. Okay. So let's copy this email and concatenate and send it. That's it guys. Let me just here. Okay. And add this redirect where are you going to redirect back it's going to on the admin forward slash i mean to say this url okay so let's copy this get back and paste it at this number four you are going to take the order id let's remove this just concatenate and paste all done guys and now guys once you send this mail you'll face some errors like you have not set up or the set up the password email address everything so make sure you are setting that in your .env file so let's get back to .env file here you see let's move below at this mailable let me close this terminal so here is an mail setup okay so here you have to set up everything so I will tell you how to set up these things. So first let's get back and here you can write a try catch statement here. Let's use try and catch function and you are going to push inside this try and at the catch you will redirect like like something went wrong as simple guys and now when you are successful then you are going to show here and move this inside your try catch itself and inside this catch just use backslash and use exception dollar e all set and if you want to know the message you can just take and print the exception error okay and now guys make sure you are importing these classes so import this class mail so mail imported and now you have this invoice order mailable also import its class okay both are imported let me just show you so here you see the invoice and your mail perfect done guys and now coming to your mail let's move to this invoice order mailable so at there you will get this order variable let's get back to the invoice order mailable at here use a public and paste your variable dollar order and same data you are going to copy and paste in your construct method so inside this you are sending and use dollar this of order make sure you are not adding dollar okay equal to and dollar order so you are getting the order storing inside this and then guys you are going to view the template okay so here at this view, let me first send the subject also. So dollar subject equals to inside double quotes, your order invoice done guys, which you can see this on your mail subject and you send this data variable in a subject function. So what we can do here let me give arrow and subject function and then send this variable subject all set and now guys you can go to the blade file so at which blade you will be going i will be going on this same invoice blade okay at the same template so you can see the invoice here okay so invoice and the id let's get back so you go to your web.php 
and you see that invoice and the order id here you go to your view invoice okay that's a function let's search for that view invoice here it is and here it stores the path okay so let's copy this path guys and get back to your invoice order mailable at the build function at view method so here you paste the path okay all set and inside this file you see all the variables are in order main thing okay so this order variable only we are sending it so make sure you are also sending the exact variable what you are using in your generate invoice blade file okay so now it's all set now we can get back and everything set up so final one setup we're spending that is your mail configuration so let's get back on the dot env file so let's go to your .env file. Okay. So now guys, this mail mailer, it's going to be SMTP and the type of mail we are going to use is Gmail. Okay. So SMTP.gmail.com. You can keep in a double quotes also. And here port, it's going to be 587 because it's TLS. And here you are going to give the username or email ID. So I have just created one dummy account like test funda of web it at gmail.com okay let me keep in double quotes and the password you are going to set as the app password okay so how you are going to set up the app password let me just show you so i have written a small post guys how to generate or create a gmail app password so you can follow these steps and create it as simple so, but let me just show you a demo also. So here you go, click on this account and then you can get back to this same blog and you find all that. Go to security and set up that password. Here, how to set up that, select an app. So here at this select app on this rounded, select the mail and give the custom name. Okay, so example on select app, select as mail. And on select device, just use my website application name. Okay, so anything you can and then generate it. So once you generate, you see 16 characters app password. Okay, so you can use this app password and paste in your env file. So I'll be pasting it guys and encryption. You can keep it as null itself. And let me copy the username here. Hello, paste here. And then app password is going to be the same what you have provided here in the top app name okay so all set guys and now once type your 16 character app password and set it okay so guys i have closed my env file okay so let's move this view blade and see once the button send invoice via mail and oops just remove this target underscore blank guys over here i have removed it let's get back once refresh and now let's Try to send the invoice via mail. Done guys. And now let's send invoice. Click on it. So here you see you have got the message as invoice mail has been sent to at this email address. So now guys let's go to this email address and just check. Okay. Let's go. And here you see perfect. So you have received that from the e-commerce your order invoice is your subject what we have set and all the data has come whatever invoice you have given perfect guys all done it's responsive also and if you require to add anything extra so you can copy this same template generate invoice template and link to your invoice order mailable here you can link with the separate template and add your extra details that means extra detail means like your social media links and all you can add on okay so this is the extra words you can continue so guys we have successfully learned how to send an invoice via gmail okay so guys in this video that's it and let's continue next video with the new topics so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share